All right, welcome to a, a two-part video from Boulder City. Pretty much exactly the same place. It started right here Saturday morning, right in front of bathroom seven. Oh, that's six. So I was down there Saturday morning. Uh, bathroom six today. A couple people have asked me. I got a little roughed up by somebody that means absolutely nothing. Um, they got a little concerned because they haven't they haven't seen a video from me in a little over a week. Well, now it takes more than that to ruffle my feathers and. Uh, what has kept me off the water is the 110 plus degree heat. It's really hard to, you know, get out here and do any uh, fishing when it's 110 plus degrees. But uh, yeah, that guy that uh, I said it to him in a comment. I don't know if he saw it before. I deleted him and blocked him and everything else. I do this when I find a good kayak. I find a way to get my hands on it and I review it. Okay. Um, and I also provide intel for friends of mine on where the fish are and what they're hitting on. So I look for, if you're somehow watching this, I look for videos of yours. Couldn't find any. So you know what? That's what your opinion means for me, dude. You go out in you know 100 plus degrees and try and make a video. So. Uh, the people that, my subscribers, they enjoy my content, they value my content, so that's what we're doing today. I got this guy, go fish camera, hooked to a really go deep diver, we're going to find out, let's get that off that bar, uh, we're going to find out if there's anything down there, I know there's stuff down there, I just don't know what it is. I got that, I got that, I got a jig, I got many jigs. Well, we're gonna go out here and we're gonna try and find out what's going on. You see birds. I was out here with the pup earlier today, my wife, right over there. I saw a little, a little bitty boil flutter up, and I mean little. It was gone uh, about as long as it took for me to say to my wife, "Look, a boil," and it was gone. Uh, the wind's coming right straight out of the. I guess it'd be west. That's supposed to come down. It's gonna blow me out away from the launch here. So anyways, here we go. We're going to try and get something. Thunderstorms are gone. But, uh, I got like four lightning rods sticking up in here. Hopefully they, they don't come around. But uh, that's going to that's gonna cut this really short if it does. So anyways, here we go. Stick around. Alright, good morning from Boulder City. This little... This little fishing misadventure this morning is brought to you by my absolute favorite instrument and control tech at work, John Thompson. Appreciate you more than you'll ever know, JT. Funny thing, when I'm at work and the phone rings at 2.30 in the morning, they know something seriously is wrong. So, yeah, he came out and saved my life again. Uh, that boat right there, I brought that here from Texas. That is a limited edition Slayer Max 12.5 Liberty. That's my Kusa. This is my big rig. We are we're going right over here. And probably right out here. And we're gonna try and get out of here before the sun, you know, zooms in within a quarter mile of Earth here. Because it's gonna be hot today. It's gonna be like 120 degrees out here. So anyways, I'm running late. But I'm here, and I'm breathing. I survived. I didn't think I was gonna, but I made it. And here we go. Stick around. This one's gonna be a good one. Oh, I am in compliance with the Lake Mead National Recreation Area filming guidelines, so don't worry about that. Let's just go get some fish. Here we go. All right, that took a little bit of doing. It's 5.41. We're underway. Up is down, down is up. Here we go, here we go. Getting after it. Stick around. I'm gonna head right out here. And I'm gonna go that way. Here we go. I have to find my sunglasses right off the bat. Yeah. So I'm not complaining. It's a close up of her. Number 88, Liberty Edition, Slayer Max 12.5. It's got an XI3 on the front of her now. Minkota. Oh, it's a Minkota. It's not an XI3. 
Think of it. 55. Oh yeah, there she is. Looks a little better than it did when I had her, but she's still still doing good. It's been wow, it's been like two years. Junk beater of the day. About three times the size of the lure. He choked it. Oh, I got one on too. <laughs> Oh, we found him. All right, heading for the heading for the jeep. I got one. They're not boiling. Yeah, I can see that. I'm pretty sure it was about a year ago that I was sitting in the middle of a gigantic coil up there. I don't see it happening just yet. So I don't know. I gotta get home and. Uh, Deliver the uh, this guy to its new owner. He's picking it up in about three hours. So I don't know if this is even going to be a video. Oh, it should be. But uh, that's the highlight of the day right there. That's a pretty kayak. But you see, it's still on the water. Good hands. Anyways, yeah, my Jeep's over there somewhere. Over there. There, somewhere. And I'm heading for it, so that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, like I said, this might this might be uh, part one of part two. I don't know yet. Maybe, maybe not. Got one little fish. But it's not that big. Alright, so I killed the battery. Oh, look at all those fish. I'm trying to jig. I got one little dinky thing. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now I'm trying this. I don't know if it's going to work. But man, there's a lot of fish down there. So I got to try. I don't know if this is going to be a part one of a two part video or. It's just not even going to be a video. I don't know yet. But it's getting hot. There wasn't really a point when it wasn't hot. I'm about to pack it in. Go home and deliver the uh, blue sky to its new owner. They're just not boiling out here yet. There's a lot of carp, a lot of gizzards, and there's a lot of freaking jet skis, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't mix well with jet skis. So I think I'm just gonna pick up my toys and, you know, head out. Patrol back to the Jeep. Load up. So that might be it. I'll come back and catch another fish. But my Jeep's over there somewhere. I think it's right there in that group of vehicles. And these guys are coming right towards me. I don't know why. I don't know why. Why, dude? Why? Oh, God, I hate But, anyways, if you like what you saw, match the little dude over there. I think he is. Give it a share. And I'll see you on the water. Thanks for watching. All right, look at that. Water is 89.2 degrees. Of course, it's only like 8 feet deep. Let me get out here. A little warm. Uh, let me get out here past these buoys. I'm gonna head over there. Oh, there's a jet ski. I'm probably gonna head over there. Over there ish. Let's see what I can't find. Here we go. So the thing about this umbrella rig, you'll get a lot of fake smacks like I just had. Um, it's got like eight arms on it, and only two of them got hooks. I just had a really good smack, and you know, they just smack it and let it go up. Don't have a hook in it. But uh, there's, they're down there. There they are. And I got a, I got a suspicion of what color they're looking for because it's all 
little silver over here. And uh, it smacked it pretty good. So hopefully he'll smack two of the trailers that got hooks on them. And we might get something. Who knows? I keep getting fake bites on that chandelier I got over here. And every time I, I get about like, I don't know if you can see my hand, but I get about that close to it and let, let's go of it. So it's just smacking the ones that it's not hitting the trailers that got, you know, that have the hooks in them. It's hitting the smaller ones that are on the wires of all things, which is just shocking to me. I don't fully understand that at all, but that's what's happening. That's my life right now. My life with an umbrella rig. But it's the only thing that's getting even sort of kind of hit right now. I don't know if you can see that fish finder, but they're all over the place. Well, it took me a very long time, but I got the skunk beater over here. There he is. Just like the one I caught Saturday. Just a little dinky thing, and he freaking absolutely pulverized this storm shad. There he is. Skunk beater. Choked it. I gotta figure out how to get off. Stop. Alright, we're gonna put you back in the water here for a second. Turn this off. We'll come back. Alright, so just like Saturday, that one took a single silver storm shad. I didn't take it off the umbrella rig. I took it just off the, you know, just one single lure. So I took the umbrella rig off and now I got two of them out, one on each side. I'm gonna run back down over to here and then turn around and go back to my Jeep, which is over there somewhere over there. So we're almost done. It's a little after seven. As soon as that sun dips down behind that ridge right there, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna get dusky and dark really quick. So we're probably about an hour from being done. All right, it's uh, dusk and I'm getting ready to pull in. My Jeep is right there. And somebody brought their ponies to the beach. That's pretty cool. But in my educated guess, I'm thinking that um, when the sun dips down behind that third mountain range, the fish come in shallow. And the ones that are out there, they went from like 20, 30 feet deep to like 5 to 10 feet deep. And that's right when I caught the one down there when I turned around and started heading back this way towards the Jeep. That's when I caught that one. And of course I took the umbrella rig off, put exactly what I, what I caught it on, and just the single line. Nada. So, I don't know. I don't know if they changed their flavor at dusk or what. But uh, I, don't, I haven't spent a lot of time here. So, I haven't quite got her dialed yet. I haven't spent hardly any time here. Uh, I was going to, I was doing a lot of Echo Bay and other places before I started coming back here. And you know, it shows because I haven't got it figured out yet, but I will. Uh, that said, I got three days, three night shifts starting tomorrow. Then I go on PTO again for a little while, so I'm going to be going, I plan on going right to Willow on uh, the night of the full moon, and as many nights around that full moon as I can, so we're going to see what we can make happen out there, and uh, we'll be back here, um, we're going to go to, we're taking the trailer up to Mount Charleston, went up there a couple days ago, and we left here at 9 o'clock in the morning and it was like 98 degrees. We got up there, it was 65 degrees. You know, uh, sweater weather, sweatshirt weather. But uh, 
and then we came right back into 110 degrees. So, anyways, that's gonna do it for this one. Um, like, subscribe, give a share, match the little dude over there in the kayak, uh, peruse the little Amazon links down there. There's a lot of good stuff down there, and I will see you on the water. Have a great day.